Hey everybody, it's Stacy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be filming for the week of November 19th to the 25th in my Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner. We are going to be using this kit called Into the Woods from my shop and I am so excited to use this kit. I have been wanting to use it ever since I designed it. It has a lot of buffalo plaid, which I love. So what I'm going to start doing is the bottom washi, I'm just putting some Simply Gilded washi down and I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to take the bottom washi from the kit, just put it underneath that and cut it down to size. I thought this kit was a great transition kit from fall to winter because it still had the trees with the snow on there which gives me very much winter vibes, especially here in Canada. And the fall, fall colors are just because she's like wearing just like a sweater. There's not like a lot of snow everywhere. Um, that kind of thing. It just seemed very fall to me. But definitely a lot of winter. And especially with the green and red, it definitely does give me some pre-Christmas vibes. So now I'm just cutting down that bottom washi just so it fits here. This is like my favorite trick that I have learned just to make sure that my washi is always cut evenly. So now that I have my bottom washi done, I'm going to go in and put all of my full boxes down as well as my glitter headers. I'm putting the quote box into the woods on the top left hand corner and I'm just going to stagger the colors to kind of separate the reds from each other as much as possible. So I'm going to go do that now and I'll be right back. Now that I have all of my full boxes down as well as my glitter headers, I just went in and put the flags that came in the kit and now I'm going to do the date covers and I'm using these date squares from my shop to mark the different days of the week. I wish I would have changed the flags around because the pattern on the date covers as well as the flag on that covers Sunday is the same. And it kind of looks a little strange when they're on top of each other. So I kind of wish I would have changed it around because it just kind of looks like a solid block there. But, oh well. Okay, so moving on to the sidebar now. I am going to start with some Simply Gilded Washi underneath the coat box there. And I kind of just do the same sidebar I always do. I think I'm going to start putting my Christmas countdown at the bottom instead of my lap and I'm an X week section just to kind of do something different because I honestly don't even fill that part in I just I don't even know what to put there so now I'm putting my half box in to mark my highlight for the week as well as some more simply gilded washi I wanted to use this buffalo plaid as much as I could I love it so much it's like one of my favorite washies that we have Next, I'm putting a dinner's header down as well as a weekly sidebar box in the green color. And I'll use this to mark my dinners I had for the week. And then I'm going to put in a next week header along with a three heart checklist that comes on the add-on sheet. 
And then at the very, very bottom, I'll put a piece of washi that comes in the kit. So starting on the day to day, on Monday, my son had occupational therapy in the morning. So I took one of these OT stickers from my shop to mark that. And I used this green color because I tried to use as much as I could because it's very like scarce in the rest of the kit. So I tried to use it when I could. Now I'm taking one of these little Miso & Co guys on a laptop to mark designing. And then to fill in that little extra space, I'm just taking some of this Simply Gilded Washi. So now I'm just going to write in designing. You guys will notice that this week was a lot of work this week, just trying to get all ready for the Black Friday. So I did do printing and cutting this day. So I started by putting a laptop and a work script sticker, but realized that I'm going to have a lot more things. So I took a quarter box, and then I'm going to be using these Otter Prints Co. guys on their little laptop to mark doing homework with my sister this, um, this week. We do do it a couple days, so I'm going to use the same character throughout. So this is where I'm changing my laptop and work script sticker. I'm going to put that I listen to a lot of Christmas music this day. Um, just a lot of working this day, so um, I did end up listening to Christmas music pretty much the whole day just while I was working. So I took this holiday music sticker that came on the holiday bucket list, and I'm just layering it with some washi from the kit and putting it right over that homework section. And then this day I printed and cut stickers very, very late at night. So I took one of these guys from Planner Bomb and I had a hard time taking off the vinyl stickers, but he just looks so worn out and like he needs coffee so bad. I thought it was so perfect that I put him down with that work script sticker and I just put uh, work all night because that's literally what I did. I just printed and cut all night. I was trying really hard to get all orders prior to Black Friday done as well as all of the designing and everything that I needed to get done for that week completed. So Tuesday I took a preschool sticker from my shop to mark that it was my kids school day and then I had a meeting for a website that day so I took the computer icon from the kit as well as a quarter box to mark that. So this day was a lot of working as well and while I was working I watched a lot of Gilmore Girls on Netflix. So I took a TV icon to mark Gilmore Girls and then I just took a little piece of skinny washi that came in the kit to separate. Then I did some more designing for Black Friday so I took another Miso and Co dog on a laptop to mark designing. Uh, we did some more homework with my sister this day, so I'm taking another quarter box with an Otter Prince Co. guy on a laptop to mark this again. Um, I tried to be consistent so that it was the same little guy, and I had a ton of these um, from Sampler, so I just used them for every time we did homework. Then again, I worked super, super late into the night, so I have this really cute girl from Coffee Brain Plants, and she looks so sleepy and tired, and so I used that to mark working all night again. And then, once again, I just took another work script sticker to mark that. For Wednesday, I went and designed at my parents' house. So I took a laptop, and I just marked designing at my mom's house. I was just very tired of being at home, and I just kind of felt like I was always in the basement, so I needed to get out and design somewhere else. Then um, I did a lot more Gilmore Girls while I was working this day, so I took a TV icon to mark Gilmore Girls. And then underneath that, I just filled that space with some of that buffalo plaid Simply Gilded Washi. Oh, first here I'm taking a laptop and work script sticker to mark my printing and cutting, but I just put it in the second half of the week because I felt like the top half would be pretty bare if it was just uh, icon after icon. And then I did use two laptops and I didn't want them to be on top of each other. So then um, we did some more homework this day again. I think this is the last day that we did this week. Uh, so another one of those Otter Prince Co. guys with 
a quarter box to mark homework. And then on the bottom half of the day, I did end up watching uh, Bob's Burgers with my husband in the evening. So I took another TV icon to mark, mark that. Moving on to the second half of the week, my kids had preschool again on Thursday. So I took another preschool sticker from my shop to mark that. And then some more work again. So another laptop and a work script sticker. Don't worry, the second half of my week does get a lot more interesting than the first half. Uh, it was basically just me in my office all week until the weekend. Then I took my kids to the library uh, this morning. So I took a flag from the kit and I layered that with the book icon to mark going to the library. I try to take my kids to the library about once every like week, week and a half to get new books because we go through them pretty quickly. So now I'm going to work from the bottom up just to make sure that I have enough space. So I'm taking a half box and then one of these Planner Mania girls on uh, working on her planner to mark that we had Planner Club that evening. And then I wanted to mark that I did some cleaning of the house this day. So I took some leftover bottom washi and I cut it down to the size of the box. And then I did clean the bathroom. So I took a clean bathroom sticker from the spring cleaning sheet. And these items are all separated on individual sheets, but I had printed the spring cleaning already, so I just used that. And then I did do some vacuuming this day, so I took a vacuum icon from the cleaning sheet. And then I didn't have enough room, so I just moved that half box down just a little bit just to fill it in there. Friday was Black Friday, so I took a half box from the kit, and then on my Canadian Holidays sheet, there is Black Friday, so I put it on there. Um, I wanted to mark Black Friday, but also because my sales started this day, so I really wanted to put that in. This day, I ended up going to the city with my friend Ashley, so I took a car icon from the kit to mark going to the city, and then to fill in that little space, I just used some washi from the kit. Then we ended up having lunch at the mall. Um, I know this is not like a huge thing to mark, but I love eating at the mall because I love Chinese food and it's like my only time that I can eat Chinese food because my husband doesn't really care for it and my kids, I know they wouldn't eat it. So if I go to the mall, then I know I can have it because you can go to tons of different places. It's great. Then I used some Simply Gilded Washi to fill in some space. And then I spent that evening just binge watching some Plan of Me's. So I used a TV icon from the kit to mark that. On Saturday, I went for breakfast with my parents in the morning like I usually do. So I took a flag from the kit along with another meal icon to mark going for breakfast with my parents. And then that morning I did some more printing and cutting, so I'm going to laptop and work script sticker for that. And then we ended up going to my parents' house in the afternoon. So I took a quarter box from the kit and I layered it with some arrows just to give it a little bit more emphasis and look more interesting to mark going to my parents' house in the afternoon. Then we ended up ordering pizza there. So I took some more of that bottom washi and cut it down. And then there is a eat out sticker from the kit and it has some pizza on there. So I thought it was perfect to mark that we ordered in pizza. Then that evening I did a lot more designing. So I took another miso and kogai to mark designing. I really need something else to mark it or I need to get some more of these guys because I'm running out. And then the last thing I did this day is I, while I was designing, I actually went to take my flash drive, which I have all of my designs that I've ever made for my shop. It's all on that flash drive. And when I went to plug it in, it didn't work. And I was a little bit freaking out, but my husband, he ended up finding them all. Like we had to hold the flash drive a very certain way. It was very stressful, but I really wanted to mark it because it was a big deal that day. So on Sunday, we went for breakfast with uh, my husband's parents. So I've used a flag to mark that with, along with a meal icon. 
He actually went with his whole family out for breakfast. It was a lot of fun. Then this day was a little interesting because while we were leaving the restaurant, I actually ended up falling on the ice and I slipped and I cut my head open on my car trying to get my son into the car. So there is this little guy from Miso & Co. I know this is supposed to be that you have your period and that you're just really, really, really upset about it. But I thought it was so funny not to mark that with the blood and the tears because that was definitely me this day. It was terrible. I had a black eye for like over two weeks. It was crazy. So then I spent a lot of my day, six hours about, at the hospital waiting to make sure that I didn't need stitches. So I took a hospital icon to mark that. And then we ended up going to my parent, um, my husband's parents' house in the evening. So I took a flag from the kit to mark that we went to visit them. Just needed a really, really chill day after that. That was quite the event. And then the last thing I did this day was plan for my next week. Um, I started off putting some bottom washi from the kit and then I found out that the sticker that I wanted to use actually had the same pattern on the background. So I switched over to the green pattern and then there is a plan next week sticker in the kit that I used to mark that. So now I'm going to go in and open everything up. We're going to go in and fill my sidebar with my dinners that I had for the week along with the highlight for the week. And my highlight was definitely going shopping in the city as well as the Black Friday sale. I want to thank everybody who purchased from my Black Friday sale. You guys blew me away. It was extremely successful. And I thank you guys so, so much for allowing me to do this and to have this kind of business where I can stay home with my kids and do all of this stuff for you guys. So I'm just finishing filling in the highlight for the week. And now I'm going to go in and put some deco on the top of my date covers. There is a bunch of deco on the add-on sheet of the kits. So I'm just going to go in and disperse them around the top there. And then I'm going to cut off the extras that go above the page. I try and keep um, it like scattered as much as possible, putting all the little things everywhere. I think it looks so cute every time I do this. I love doing it. I also put one of the wolves at the very bottom of the sidebar. So now I'm just going to go in and cut everything. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And here we go. Here's the spread. Thanks guys. Bye.